Turn the 2695 separations module on. Press the Menu Status key to access the status screen and check to make sure the solvent flow is off and that there is no back pressure in the system. Open the syringe compartment door. Remove the knurled knob from the end of the syringe plunger. Press the Menu Status key to return to the main menu. Then, press the Diagnostic Screen key. Press the Other Test Screen key and select Motors and Valves from the list of available tests. Press the arrow keys to select V3. Verify that the V3 valve is open. If it is not, press any numeric key to switch the valve to the open position. Select the Syringe Position field. Press Enter to display the drop-down list. Select the full field. With the knurled nut removed, the plunger tip remains pointed upward as the mounting bracket is lowered. When the mounting bracket is fully lowered, unscrew the syringe from the syringe drive mounting block and remove the syringe from the compartment. Before you insert the syringe into the mounting bracket, partially fill the new syringe with mobile phase to help remove air bubbles. Screw the new syringe partially into the syringe drive mounting block. Do not tighten. Slide the syringe plunger down and insert the end of the plunger through the syringe guide bracket. Now tighten the syringe into the mounting block. In the syringe position field, press Enter to display the drop-down list. Select Empty and then press Enter. The mounting bracket moves upward so that you can install the knurled nut. Fasten the knurled nut. Press Exit to exit the motors and valve screen to return to normal conditions. Once you have installed a new syringe, purge the sample management system with at least six sample loop volumes to remove any bubbles that may exist in the system. To perform the purge, press the Menu Status key to display the status screen. Then verify that Direct appears in the Method field. Set the pump to deliver one milliliter per minute of 100% degassed mobile phase. Next, press the Direct Function screen key. Select Purge Injector, then press Enter. In the Number of Sample Loop Volumes field, enter 6, then press Enter. To check for air bubbles in the syringe, select the Compression Test checkbox to perform a compression test. Finally, press OK to start the purge cycle. When the cycle is complete, Look to see that there are no air bubbles in the syringe. If air bubbles are present, repeat the purge process. If the syringe you installed is a different size, you must change the syringe size on the configuration screen. To do this, press the Configure Screen key on the main menu to display the configuration screen. The Syringe Size field is highlighted. Press Enter and use the arrow keys to select the correct syringe size. Then press Enter. Press the Exit key to return to the main menu.